Good morning, it's Tuesday the 3rd of January. Today is J.R.R. Tolkien Day. It's the birthday of one of the great 20th century British authors. Tolkien wrote books like The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy, which as well as being successful in their own right as books, also became very successful films. Tolkien was a committed Christian and he says that his faith influenced his writing. Certainly if you've read any of his writing it's very much a series of stories about good triumphing over evil. One of the main characters in the Lord of the Rings trilogy is a hobbit called Frodo and Frodo risks his own life in order to defeat evil and for good to prosper. I know fancy writing won't be everybody's cup of tea but as someone who sometimes enjoys a bit of a break from reality, I enjoy these particular books. Talking of cups of tea, you might also be interested to know that this month, January, is National Hot Tea Month, a month to celebrate the humble cuppa. Interestingly, the hobbits enjoyed a cup of tea, both alone and socially. They had a special time in the afternoon, designated as tea time when everybody would enjoy a cup of tea together. Not all of us will have great adventures in our lives like those in the J.R.R. Tolkien books. Most of us will live rather more ordinary existences. Certainly a cup of tea might be seen as a very ordinary thing to drink. But if you're a tea fan, as I am, then punctuating the day with a regular cuppa is not ordinary at all. It gives structure to the day. And unlike the hobbits with their daily tea time, I'm more of an hourly cup of tea person. Tea is good on its own, but it's even better to share a cup of tea with somebody else, to have conversation and sharing. I'm so thankful that I'm once again allowed to go into people's homes and share tea and conversation with them. It's good to appreciate the ordinary things in life, like cups of tea, to be thankful for the farmers who provide the milk, the growers who provide the tea, which of course should be fairly traded. To be thankful for those I drink tea with, for the companions on the journey. How easy it is to take things for granted. To forget that even a cup of tea is a blessing, a moment to give thanks, a time to pause and remember God in the midst of our everyday life who blesses our times of rest and conversation, as well as every aspect of our lives. If you're looking for something a little more adventurous and you're in Skipton on Sunday, at half past two we'll be setting off for Wild Church from St Andrews. In the words of Tolkien's wizard Gandalf, I'm looking for someone to share an adventure that I am arranging. Wild Church is something new. It's about encountering God in the outdoors and in the wonder of creation. All are welcome, whatever their age, and there might even be a hot drink as we go along. However, be mindful of the words of the hobbit Bilbo as he speaks to Frodo and says this. It's a dangerous business, Frodo, going out of your door. You step onto the road and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you may be swept off to. May God sweep us off into new places. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for the ordinary moments like drinking tea and sharing conversation with others. We thank you for exciting moments like adventures and wild church. And we thank you that you're with us in all things. Go with us today. Amen. <laughs>